Players, how you darn? Welcome back to Players Guide. On this episode of Players Guide, I'm going to be talking about my experience streaming games on Twitch, more specifically streaming retro games. So before I get into everything, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory of Player's Guide and how it came to be. So many years ago, almost a decade ago, my friend did a 100-hour NES marathon stream for charity. And he did this three years in a row, over 300 hours of NES. And occasionally he would need to sleep, so he would have people uh, stop by his house and play games for a little bit while he caught a bit of rest. Uh, he didn't get much rest. But I was one of the people who would stop by uh, from time to time to uh, give him a bit of relief. Now, when he said he had had enough of it and didn't want to continue, um, myself and some of the other people involved decided that we were going to do a uh, marathon of our own. But we cut it in half and only did 50 hours um, so that it was a little bit more manageable. Uh, the thing that happened there was we called it nes -a -thon 2K15, the first one. And then we had such a good time, uh, some of us from the group wanted to keep streaming and doing this group stream thing. Um, so we came up with Player's Guide so that we had a name that could carry on to various streams and we could use for each uh, yearly marathon stream now we did that marathon for four years after that and then life just got kind of busy and uh, we had to quit now early on streaming um, I was doing it all the time and it was a real grind to be honest something I've seen from successful streamers or people who stream for a career is that they stream quite frequently unless they're bringing over a following from some other place Instagram uh, or YouTube or uh, TikTok or some some other you know maybe they're famous they're in movies they have a TV show uh, whatever it is um, unless you're already bringing a following over from some other place just getting going on Twitch can really be a grind and long streams and frequent streams I'm talking four to seven days a week four to eight plus hour streams uh, every day and a consistent schedule is what is going to get you viewers and you have to do this long term you may do that even for two or three years and you know kind of find yourself in a stagnant place now one thing you can do if that does happen is if you could keep up the momentum um, and kind of reinvent yourself try doing some different things improve the quality of your stream branch out a little bit and network uh, with other streamers uh, collaborate doing uh, co-streams and cross gameplay streams uh, with other streamers to uh, share your audience and introduce each other into new people kind of like what happens here on YouTube uh, now for myself I used to stream with some friends and as those friends sort of lost interest uh, players guide was really just me uh, streaming on Twitch for a while and then when my son was born I had some issues trying to maintain a regular schedule so my streams got cut back to two streams a week and they were usually no more than four hours long um, but having a consistent schedule will help you uh, retain some of uh, your follower base uh, that you have now if you are looking to make money on Twitch, you want to monetize and turn this into a business, then you really have to treat it like a business. Twitch is a great place to socialize and it was a great place for me to socialize over the pandemic and it is also a great place to build a community. But if you are looking uh, to monetize and, and turn it into a business, you sort of got to find ways of letting your community know that that's sort of what you're looking for. You're looking to draw an income out of it and, and really uh, grow the stream, not just as a community, but financially as well. And you can find different ways of finding incentives uh, for people to cheer bits or subscribe to your channel. Now, 
Twitch has kind of made it harder. I don't think they really pay out anything uh, in terms of the ads anymore, at least not for affiliated streamers, maybe for partners. Uh, now, Play as Guide has always been affiliated, uh, but not a partnered channel. Partnered means uh, there's a little bit more incentive and kickback uh, to monetize the channel. It's not enough to just build a community and make friends unless that's just what you're looking to do, finding a place to socialize and find other like-minded people who have similar interests because it is a great place to do that and I can almost guarantee if you're thinking about streaming, you will find those people. Now, one thing I've found about different people who stream on Twitch is people come and go. Sometimes people come in strong for about a year and I've talked to some of these people and was able to touch base. They burn out, they lose interest, uh, they can't keep up the momentum, other things in life happen. And sometimes people think, yeah, about the, the monetized side and that they're going to be a big deal. And then when they're not, and they've really put a lot of time, effort, and some of this equipment can uh, set you back quite a bit too. And uh, companies like Elgato and Logitech, they keep pumping out newer and better um, gear that you can get to enhance your stream. And uh, yeah, it can be financially draining too, especially if you're not getting a kickback. And that causes a lot of people to lose momentum, lose interest and drop off. And that's always sad to see uh, different people from the community uh, go. But the people who are able to find a nice balance um, and an audience that relates to them usually stick around whether they're in it for the community um, or they're looking for some form of financial gain. So you have to be personable, well-spoken, uh, talk about some interesting and relatable subjects, as well as have a good quality stream that is reliable, knowing that, hey, at this time of night or this time in the morning, I can go check out this person's stream because I know that they're going to be on and that's what's going to keep your audience growing and continuously coming back to you. You also got to be open-minded and not overvalue your content in order to grow and um, accept new ideas to take you into positive directions. For me, uh, I found that when my son was born, I kind of touched upon this earlier, I had a lack of time and I still have that lack of time. So I'm only able to stream one day a week. That is the Retro Indie Show, Saturday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on Play As Guy Twitch. There's a link to the Twitch below. But what I've found is some other people in similar situations as me who stream when they can. Um, and sometimes that's only once a week. So we've developed our own shows to fill in the gaps to provide good quality content with streamers who are familiar with Twitch and retro games throughout the week um, so that now I've opened the channel at Play Us Guide to basically a team and we all work together uh, to create consistent quality content and that's worked out very well. Some people have come and gone uh, for various different reasons but the doors always open and uh, people can come and go as they please. And it's that type of flexibility uh, that allows the channel to uh, continue to grow, but it is more of a community-based channel. And uh, the community, like I said, continues to evolve and change as people from the community also uh, come and go. So that creates reliable content for people. And we focus on retro gaming 90% of the time. And that consistency uh, lets people know what, what they're uh, subscribing to or following and what to expect even though there's some different streamers. One thing that I found is that it's really hard to be a variety streamer. That's something I started out doing and I know a lot of us uh, who enjoy classic games also enjoy modern games as well and everything in between uh, indie games, AAA titles, uh, throwback games, whatever it is. And it's really hard to be a variety streamer, at least all the time. If people know that 70, 80% of the time they're going to find you playing a certain game like Rocket League or retro RPGs, you're going to be able to build a community a lot better. And then you might be able to tap into uh, some people who are bringing different interests in from other games and uh, other categories that you could stream under like IRL I've done before 
taken my uh, stream out kayaking with me. Um, so I've dabbered here and there, and it's good to do a little bit of dabbering, but you do want to stay true to a specific game or style of content uh, so people know what they're getting, because if you're all over the place, um, your viewership will also be all over the place. One thing that people do love to see on Twitch is marathons and special events. When you're doing something special that's uh, within your wheelhouse of what you normally do, but um, done a more extreme way, you'll get more viewers. Also, the marathons, it's always great when you can just pop on at any time and see one of your favorite streamers um, or content creators uh, live. So they're live when you go to bed and then they're still live in the morning. It's fun. Just leave the computer on and uh, check in and, and see what's going on. I enjoy those streams and there's a lot of people within the Twitch communities that do enjoy those streams as well. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff uh, that you're going to want to get into if you're looking into streaming. You're going to want to create emotes, different alerts, um, notification bots. I might get into uh, a bit of the Twitch uh, streaming side and how to start a uh, basic setup for streaming retro games for those of you who are interested. Let me know in the comments below uh, and like this video and if that's something you'd like to see. It's something I've been thinking about doing for a while because there is all types of different gear and all different ways to stream just in general not just retro games but retros what I more so specifically focus on if you would like to see more from players guide please subscribe to the channel one small click from you makes a big difference to this channel also don't forget to check us out over on twitch and uh, subscribe to the channel there and you can find Players Guide on all social media platforms. Until next week, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.